Capital of Canada, right there. Let's roll, boys. One last moment of silence. Au revoir. Au revoir. Au revoir. Boom. My French is so good. Damon, Dave, they're great friends, and they're mad men. The engine light is back. The engine light is back. We've officially arrived in Ontario. The speed limit is 30 kilometers an hour. It's like <laughs> nine miles an hour. Anthony coined the term. It is, of course, McMuffin Monday. Can I get uh, a couple Egg McMuffins? Actually, can I get two sausage egg McMuffins? Yeah. Make that four. Make that four sausage and egg McMuffins, please. Yeah. Awesome, thank you. No problem. Four. You have converted jams to eating. Oh, absolutely. Ah! That crow's here from McMuffin Monday as well. Oh. Pretty gas McLaren, man. McLaren Monday is McMuffin Monday. Yeah. That's right. That's some fire in there. That thing must go, eh? You gotta give her, you gotta give her. Yeah, I gotta hear her, come on. That's crazy. <laughs> That's insane, brother. I got the cruise in the Volkswagen. Last night at the final dinner, we were talking with the other Ace of Spaders, the local guys. What you do in Ontario is you have a dummy radar detector. You can get them off Amazon for 19 bucks. In the event you get pulled over, officer walks up, you just hand him the $19 dummy one. Really, again? Yeah, you just, you just hand him the dummy detector. You're on your way. They're out in full force today, goodness gracious. It's a holiday, take a day off. They're out in full force today, goodness gracious. Holiday, take a day off. Over. Are we getting pulled over? No way. You really? Yeah, they do. Okay, so we're getting pulled over. Not a clue why. Good morning. How are you? Good, yo. We're doing 135. It's 100 zone here. I was going traffic? going with the flow of traffic. What's that? I was going with the flow of traffic. Yeah. Okay, I'm just in a minute. Thank Do you. you. Have... Oh, there it is. Yep. The speed limit is 100 kilometers an hour on this highway. We were going 135 kilometers an hour, but everybody is going 135. I mean, you could see as I was filming, we were just cruising in the flow of traffic. Did you buy this car last year? Yes. Um, was it white when you bought it? Yeah, it's got a protective um, wrap on it for the five-day journey that we just did with 2,000 kilometers. So the color's now black, right? Well, it's got a protective vinyl on it, so yes. And will it be like that how, like as long as you have it? No, no, we, we, we put it on just for the, we just did a 2,000 mile journey from Toronto, Montreal, New York for the races of Lamborghini races. And so we put these on our cars because they just get beat with stone. So the second we get home, all the decals come off. This will all come off and it'll be white again. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, perfect. Yeah. Uh, if I open the hood, you can see underneath that it's actually white. Okay. Yeah. So you are gonna get a ticket for speeding. Uh, the fine for the speed that you're going is $265. I think that's really unfair that you guys pick people off just as cash grabs for, for people going the speed of traffic. On any 400 series highway in Ontario, the average speed is a buck thirty to a buck forty. It's not a cash grab. We don't get any money. Yeah, I know, but yeah, I mean, and you guys should be like is... picking off people that are doing unsafe stuff. I wasn't accelerating. I had it in seventh gear, going with the flow of traffic. Well, I don't know how fast the other cars are going because I'm not the one doing the line. We, there. we. But we... I know when I stop cars, if I was out on the 417 earlier, up by up towards Armfire, and nobody was doing 135. Well, I, know, but I got one person, they were doing 116 on, uh, in Toronto, the 401 average speed is a buck 45. So we're all five kilometers away from losing our license and roadside seizure because I'm very aware of the speed and I'm sure you checked my license. I don't have any tickets. I'm a very responsible, mature driver. And so I get really upset because I pay my taxes. I love what you guys do to keep people safe. I was just, we're heading home. I'm not hung over, I didn't go out and drink last night. And so for me to get a 135 ticket while I was doing the speed limit with every other car, it's really hard. 
Well, I can tell you that you were in the passing lane and you were the first car. Uh, there was a bunch of a bunch of cars doing the that exact we're same doing speed. 135? Yeah. Oh yeah. We have this on, yeah. on, on camera. I mean I don't know what to tell you. Because like I said, I don't know if you saw me, I was facing away from you. I yeah. wasn't even looking at you. I know, yeah, I saw your tripods. We uh, I'm only the ticket rider. Yeah, I'm no, I get it, I get it, I get it. If you have, if you want to fight it, I mean. Oh, I, I fight everything. Fight. I have a lawyer okay. just, just for this injustice. Back, you only have 15 days to choose one of the three options. Thank you. Drive safe. All right, so there you have it. an hour we are right with the flow of traffic just cruising like everybody else right around a hundred and 25 kilometers an hour oh look how's it going Speed is we're doing 134 we have this Nissan tailing us and that Jeep just blew by us Hundred kilometers an hour is 62 miles per hour. We're on a freeway, on a major freeway through Canada, and the maximum speed limit is 62 miles per hour. In Utah, in many places across the state, the speed limit is 80 miles per hour. Keep the minivan with the double kayaks. The grill, and we have the chill. We're going chill. This is the most important decision we'll make all week. We got goals on goals right here, topped with whipped cream and chocolate syrup. Imagine that. The check engine light is gone. We are back in the six. Here in Toronto. Could you imagine if I had the drone? Obviously there's an airport so I couldn't actually fly it, but assuming that wasn't there and I had it, that would be tremendous. The sun is starting to set. Out at the north of the city, <clears throat> going up at a speed of 22 kilometers. Whoa, check out that view. Wow. So much, my viewers are really appreciating that. I tell you, the Canadians, they're so nice. Thank you so much. We're gonna go check out the Planchet d'Auvert. These Congresses have been everywhere around the world. There's the Rogers Center, that's where the Blue Jays play. When the CN Tower was constructed, it was the tallest freestanding structure in the world. 1,815 feet. I used the iPhone to look that up. I, I honestly, if I was allowed to climb out here, I'd do it just for you guys. I, I really would. I do it for the subscribers. Get you those angles. Are, are you sure you don't want a picture of my converses? No, my daughter has those. <laughs> oh, 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 okay. Look at these fancy shoes. <laughs> Purchased for Gold Rush Rally. Red bottoms, your daughter will know about the red bottoms. CN Tower, baby. So it was $88 Canadian that converts to $68 US. If you guys ever come to Toronto, I'd recommend it. So I've been up in the Burj Khalifa and the Space Needle, and now the CN Tower. It's pretty cool. Um, I don't know where we're going, but somewhere cool. I knew what I wanted to say. It is poutine time. The food vlog, the Canadian food vlog is back and it's gonna be proper this time. Honestly, that really wasn't what I wanted to say. I want to say that that's the Rogers Center. That's where the Toronto Blue Jays play right now. Unfortunately, the Blue Jays are in New York City playing the Yankees tonight. Otherwise, we'd go catch a ball game. You can't even you, you can't even script this stuff. This is insane. Look what is back. I kid you not. The check engine light is back. The check engine light is back. Look how little effort it takes to open the door of the 540. Aventador Murcielago. It takes like full force to get it open. One of the many positives of the 540C. Base MSRP on a 540C, it's right around 200,000 Canadian, whereas a 570 is about 240. So you're looking at an additional 40,000 Canadian 
four or five seventy versus five forty. But most importantly, poutine is right there. Poutini's House of Poutine. Don't die! Don't die! The food vlog has arrived, baby. I can smell the poutine. Ultimate food vlog. <laughs> This is legit, I was wrong. The poutine I had in Quebec, no, this, this is where it's at. My diet is not the best diet, but I'm on vacation. You know, as soon as I get home, I'm going full vegan, kale, spinach, lettuce, vegetables, you name it, that's what I'm having. I highly doubt that, James. Whoa, whoa. He's right, you get, they already know. They already know I have a thing for Chick-fil-A. <laughs> Getting Chick-fil-A as soon as I land. Dundas Square, this is sort of the Toronto's Times Square equivalent, if you will. We got DeMar DeRozan up there getting his electrolytes. Not a paid product placement for Gatorade, by the way. I'm flying off to Utah first thing in the mornings. I just noted, we got no check engine light, baby. <laughs> Imagine that. I'm cruising around in this 540C for the past week. This is Anthony's only car. This is the true daily driver. Just to prove how usable the 540 is, we're going grocery shopping. I'm gonna take this time to just chat with you guys about the McLaren 540C, 570S. So yes, I'm gonna be that wacko walking around talking to a camera in a grocery store. A couple concerns with the Sport Series platform from McLaren, the 570, the 540C. The main one is that living in Utah, the closest dealership to me is in Scottsdale, Arizona, which is a 12 hour drive. Any type of routine servicing, other than maybe an oil change, I'm gonna have to get the car trailered down to Scottsdale. Obviously that's not really a, a great option for me. I told you we were going healthy. Look at that, is that spinach? It is, spinach. Definitely was unplanned. Definitely unplanned. Yellow headlight tint, should he keep it? Or remove it when he removes the wrap? You should keep it. I think it's, I think it's cool. Just like that, I'm headed to the airport, so I will see you guys bright and early in the morning. Good morning, good morning. My enthusiasm level is extremely low because it's very early, but I've made it here to the airport. Let's go home to Utah. The 5-0 is here. It never felt so good to be home. Home sweet home. What an adventure. Toronto, Canada, absolutely epic trip. Ace Spade Rally, what can we say? What a great, great event. The cars, the hotels, the roads, but most importantly, the people. I always say it's people that make a rally. Damon and Dave from Daily Driven Exotics, Anthony from Mad Whips, Saturn, who is the event organizer. Everybody on the rally was so friendly, so down to earth. A Spade Rally, I hope to be a part of another event sometime here in the future. Strad hats, they are going quickly. It's a limited run. If you want one, get it while you can. There's a link in the description below, thestradman.com. If you enjoyed today's video, the thumbs up that's right here. If you wouldn't mind smashing the like button, much appreciated. But just like that, this vlog is over, and I'm out.